So let's talk about the humanity of the Buddha. When I'm thinking about the humanity of the Buddha, I'm not, uh, I'm not thinking about things like um, the historicity. What, was he a, a historical figure? Uh, what are the facts? Um, I'm, not, I'm not thinking in that sort of way. I'm not trying to reduce down to um, science or something. When I'm talking about the, the humanity of the Buddha, I'm, I'm talking about the character of the man. Uh, the character of, I guess, the character of what it is to be a Buddha, to be any Buddha. Uh, Shakyamuni's great genius seems to have uh, resided in his ability to, to reach uh, particular people. Uh, almost everybody who came before him. He managed to give what was a, a universal message in a way that somehow touched the, the heart of, of that particular person from one to the other in, in a very direct sort of way. Uh, he was a very clear speaker, a very clear thinker. He used words to great effect. He used uh, metaphor and symbol and so on. But what you get coming through is, is that sense of a heart to heart. Uh, going on between these people in, in a way that turned many people's lives around. I mean, the, 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 the Buddha didn't, um, didn't always succeed. Uh, he was human in that sense too. But uh, occasionally you have a sutra where somebody goes away and then he went away unconvinced, it says, uh, in the sutra or something of that kind. But in the great majority of cases, the Buddha did manage to, to hook the person in some way that uh, spoke to them and to their condition. And, and he was able to uh, contend those issues where it was important uh, and simply slide over and use those issues where it wasn't so important. If somebody came to him and said, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really intent on finding a way to God, uh, the Buddha wouldn't argue with him about theology. He'd give him a way to do it. And he'd give him a way to do it that was couched in the terms of the Dharma as the Buddha understood them. So he, he was very capable of um, adjusting his message to the circumstances. And that ability to, on the one hand, stay absolutely true to what is fundamental, important, conveys love, compassion, wisdom, in a totally uncompromising way. To be able to do that, on the one hand, at the same time as you're adapting to the circumstance, the other person, the prevalent conditions at the time, and to bring the two together with such perfection, that seems to me to be where the humanity of the Buddha lay. And it's by, it's for us, it's, it's like to be able to, to bathe in that influence, to have a, a sense that, uh, well, as Inagaki says, like, just as you are, uh, the, the Buddha could reach you just as you are, just as I am, just as you are. Uh, that's the very special thing about what it is to be a Buddha.